Look at this, y'all. I didn't broke my fan over this nonsense. This woman and got me all hyped up and bothered and sweating and just, ooh. <laughs> YouTubers, welcome to P. Dina Royally Teachable Moments. I hope you're doing well today. Did you catch my Royally Teachable History premiere? Yes, I am doing videos on history around royalty. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. I've got some great people helping me and I'm going to be putting out some really great historical content to change it up a little bit and to give some insight into some more teachable moments around royalty. Now, here's the deal, everyone. This video today, this video today, you know, when I saw this photo of Doria with the Kardashians, the whole idea that this woman is at this charity has Meghan Markle's face written all over it. All I can see is Megan smiling. <laughs> it's just, it's Megan. It's Megan. It ain't nothing but Megan. Because Doria ain't showing her butt at no charity event without the express permission of her daughter saying it's okay to be there. But let's just get that straight. Okay? You're not going to show up smiling and be taking a photo with the Kardashians and your daughter didn't tell you to go do that. She's got her hands around everything that this woman does around publicity and going out and being seen with A-listers. We have Harry and we've got Megan and we have them as a couple, okay. Now this story here specifically is about both of them but more specifically about Megan and her shenanigans and how what she is doing in this moment is a direct reflection on what her husband is essentially been seen doing as well. But for the sake of this story and what is happening, we're going to break it down and talk about this whole everything that's going on with this because it's just so wrong. It's so wrong. It's so unbelievable. It is the pinnacle of just what? No, you didn't. No, you didn't. I'm looking all day long at them and thinking, when is it going to ever just make a turn for the better? But it seems like it just keeps getting worse and worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. <laughs> yeah, it does. I mean, facts, folks. I mean, in my opinion, just kind of go back for a second about the story that I told about how celebrities have been told by their PR agents that you cannot be seen with Megan and Harry, more specifically Megan, because their brand is toxic. It's not good for you. If you want to hang out, socialize with them, it has to be on the down low, no photos, be friends all day long, but don't be seen with her. Okay. Now this here, this moment with Doria attending this event without Megan, but it's her mother. What does that say to you? I know what it says to me. <laughs> it says to me, oh yeah, Megan got pimping you out to go out and do some publicity. <laughs> She's like, I can't do it. I can't go out and be seen with the A-listers, but mommy, you can. Would you go do that for me, mommy? <laughs> you know, just go out and be seen and, and have people take their picture with you so they can kind of correlate. You're my mother in a sense. It's me really there, but I'm not there, but you're there so we can kind of correlate my brand being there with the A-listers, you know? Because it's like, why, why are you there? And more importantly, why are you out there smiling with your picture and trying to show us that we're making a stance. We're coming out in public finally after our New York City debacle. And we're going to come out and we're going to start slowly introducing, making into the scene. We gotta get the mother on board. Get Dor come on Doria, scoot your butt on out there, girl. <laughs> Go ahead, be seen with the A-listers. Yes, yes, we gotta slowly make the transition to show that Megan is on her way. She's coming. We're going to do a pre-show with the mother and we're gonna slowly start to ease on in, Megan. 
after the mother's been able to go out and say yes I am the pre-show I am the pre-show of the wanting to be an a-lister so a-listers come take a photo with me we're going to take photos we're going to smile and better yet the Kardashians because we are lucky to have a Kardashian Jenner like empire Yes, we're looking for an empire that is similar to that of the Kardashians, Jenner. And Doria is like the momager. She's like the Kris Jenner. And so now Kris Jenner is Doria Megan that we're thinking, okay, here comes Miss Megan soon to be. You know, Doria's prepping everybody for Megan to come out and be out and amongst all the A-listers. And it couldn't be further opposite in my opinion like there is no comparison there is just no way Doria and Megan are going to be able to ever get any kind of success similar to that of the Kardashian Kim Kardashian Kris Jenner it ain't gonna happen and I'm gonna break it down and tell you just why because that's important to all of this. That's important. And furthermore, just your whole personality and how you treat people. Let's look at what Chris Rock said about Chris Jenner, okay? Because that right there tells you the whole story about why it works for Kris Jenner and why it would never work for someone like Doria and Megan for this reason alone. Kris Jenner lets everybody in. She like a black grandma. She just want to fix you up a plate, that Chris Jenner. Okay, so what does that tell you after seeing that clip? What? What does that tell you? It tells you that Megan has no humility. She has an ego that is easily damaged. She can never bring in somebody that has angered her or made her mad or shows her to be something that she doesn't picture herself to be. She's too on a level that's so high up. She's not relatable. But Kris Jenner, she will bring in every and anybody. She has taken on so many different boyfriends of her daughters and they've had issues and problems. What does she do? She doesn't try to kick people out to the side and say, you know, we ain't talking to you. You make us look bad. No, she brings people in and their flaws and all and she incorporates it into the storyline of her family. And she seems authentic doing it. That's the difference. See, Megan and Doria, they are two trying to be uppity. You know, mm, mm, we are the best of the best. You know, we're here at Hollywood and Thomas Marco, who, who is that? I don't know those people. I don't know them. <laughs> those are the, the working class. We don't know them. <laughs> you know, and no, uh-uh. They just don't have it like that. And it shows I didn't broke my fan over this nonsense. I am really beside myself with this nonsense and these people. OK, <laughs> now this charity is about addressing the ongoing devastation of family separation in border cities. OK, yeah, mm -hmm. it's about that. So people are going to the border trying to connect these families and that woman, Doria, had the nerve to show up to this charity. People are laughing at you, Doria. They are laughing at you. So Jeff Bezos and his fiance, Lauren Sanchez, also mingled with guests. Now, the Emmy winning journalist was honored during the ceremony for the donation she made towards the organization and the work she has done to benefit the children and families facing crisis at the border. Well, hello, hello, Miss Sanchez. Did you know that Doria's daughter also has a, a family member at the border who she's trying to get reconnected with? Are you going to try to help her too? Because apparently she don't even know where her daddy is. She says she lost him. <laughs> okay, so let's just get the reality going here. The reality is this woman, she needs some serious help. So I hope Miss Sanchez tries to help connect her too with her father at the border. <laughs> How about that? So during her speech, Lauren gave her future husband a special shout out as she acknowledged all the support he has given her. Yeah, I bet he's given you a lot of support, all that money he got. Yeah, she's able to support and do a lot of things. And I know that's exactly why perhaps Megan's mother was there 
there to help make the introduction, get to know, look at who I am. Can you kind of, you know, I'm here on behalf of my daughter, the Duchess, wink, wink, you know, we ain't stupid. We know why you showed up there. Jeff Bezos. Uh, yeah. Hello. We're trying to make the connection because you even being there is so fraudulent because of what the charity actually does. It's almost comical. Like, really? You going to show up and you have this drama in your own family right now? The event raised over a million dollars, which will provide much needed resources to children at the U.S.-Mexico border. And, you know, <laughs> I just think that this charity really needs to step in and help Megan, help her find her daddy. Because apparently she didn't lost the man at the border. He in Mexico, but she can't find him. And we know why Megan's mother was there. We see it written all on Doria's face as she's smiling. She looked like she's saying, I'm here because Megan told me to be here. <laughs> like when I look at the picture, like that's what I see. I don't like the perpetration of it all. I don't like how you, you are fronting like you are trying to do good when your own life proves false to the humanity that you have in your own household. If you can't have humanity and decency and respect for the people in your own lives, how can you possibly show that you're trying to help other people or support organizations that are trying to help families who are lost and are trying to be reconnected with their own families? Like, how can you even show your face? How can you even come out in public when we see, and this is why the interviews, the talks with Samantha and Tom Jr. and Thomas Sr., they're so important because they give us the up close reality of family and their humanity, their humanity of being humiliated and just ghosted by somebody who has some sudden fame and how their humanity and decency of their own simple lives have been destroyed because of Megan. But yet the mother Doria has to show up to a charity that her daughter wanted her to attend that is titled, this is about humanity. Well, if you're going to support an organization that is that is called This Is About Humanity, then daggone it, go show some humanity yourself. Show your humanity, Meghan Markle, and show that you are somebody who really cares. Because if you're going to show up via your mother, you have the biggest kahunas I have ever seen because the audacity of you even trying to make people think you have humanity and that you are there to support an organization that is about humanity and connecting children and families separated in Mexico at the border states. You are so gone. Your like your ego, your thinking, your way of life in trying to make it in Hollywood is so superficial that it is disgusting. Disgusting. I want to throw up. I want to really just say, I just, I don't, what? It just is mind boggling to me. Mind boggling. The organization This Is About Humanity needs to go and show Meghan Markle some humanity.